All right, new version here. Let's play this in the full. There is no sound. Cool. Looks like the beginning was cut here. Let me check what you have in your email. All right, yeah. Hair is hidden. That's fine. We are out of step mode as well. I think there's definitely better contrast in terms of step. <coughs> I think there's really, I think there's definitely better contrast with just that step and then going straight into that. I'd be careful in terms of if she jumps. She's got that. Also at the beginning, I will probably take that arm out, bring it back a bit. So might as well clear the silhouette through this a bit longer. So it's not kind of she's also kind of stuck on her backside here until it goes forward. That's all clear. I'm just reacting a little bit to this here. Maybe it's because my lack of uh, leg strength to be able to do a land. And then this here. I think this is what I'm reacting to. She lands here. And then we have this moment of very frozen in terms of... It just kind of sticks. While she continues to move forward. I think I would find a way to get this movement... You know, maybe she lands a bit more back. If that makes sense, right? So that there's more time for her to go forward. So that when she is in this position, it's, uh, so you avoid that stickiness through there. That part is actually around maybe here. So you have room to continue to go down. This can go down with it, right? So it's not so frozen. Especially when you have like this. There's nothing going on in there. And I think at that point... At the point, that speed too, being here for this long, fall. I don't see how she would be able to rest this for that long. I know it's not super long. And I know she she moves that, that leg forward fairly quickly. But maybe it might just be my reaction to this being so frozen. Maybe if it just keeps moving and the root keeps dropping. And in that way, it's not just so straight with a little bit of up. I think you would have... A longer drop in the root and this would be a, a bigger jump up down again with more of a up and down with the root then getting into this i think that's what i'm reacting to it feels a bit hovery frozen almost off balance and then she gets into let me see even this here i don't see anything in the mail and i can't remember i apologize if you had a plan if she's holding on to something this just seems like she would be holding on to something, maybe. So it's, again, that arm feels kind of stuck to that leg. And if not, you know, then you could bring it. You know, obviously, that's an awesome drawing. But you would bring her, her arms out for cleaner silhouette. Not sure why they would be and down here, and almost stacking. And then... That's not too bad. I'm looking at your, your spacing. Like That arm comes down pretty fast. I would have a bit of a drag in that wrist or ease into that move a bit more. Because you're bringing out that elbow, it's kind of, it's maybe it's less than an arc, or less of an arc since the elbow goes out. But I'd be careful because it's, we see this, then it goes away. We're almost expecting a bit of an arc like this, but then suddenly you just have the elbow, but then that elbow is here, and then it's still here at that height. Then it just, the whole body goes up, so it feels like that move in that elbow suddenly gets stuck there. So I would look at that overall arc and spacing of that arm. You know, and even if you do this, maybe that arm is higher and it's that arm which we're losing here in this, you know, that might not now be leading the whole thing. That's what gives you that twist and that arm would be up here maybe. And then you can always kind of bring it down again if you want. But something where that twist... I mean, I'm changing animation here. Though, so you, you think about it. I'm just looking at it in terms of the spacing and how we are not getting suddenly into the stuck almost twin position here where they don't do much. I like that then go up here, they're, they're offset there. I do like that. But maybe, just think about that. Maybe you want to do, I mean, it's like an elbow up more that initiates the spin. Or do you want to do something where the arms are maybe straight down and then open up into this, something a bit more contrast. It might be too mirrory to what the legs are doing, which is the thought. You have a push, and that's cool, on the toes here. Watch out, you got a bit of a pop there where your knees are here, here, or one knee. Right, it pops from this to this, and then 
kind of stays in the orientation. It feels like that's a big shape change. Visually going to this to then kind of stay and straighten. Where I would soften that, where I would maybe bring that knee. I don't know if that knee would be still in. And then slowly come out or just not be as far out. So watch out for that spacing there. The legs. What is the other leg doing? You got this leg. Goes from here up. Put some onion skin in here, right? You, your foot is here then here, but then suddenly goes to the right and then suddenly back to the left. And now it's here shooting out. I feel like you might as well keep it here and start to bend it earlier so it has that, that move. The other one's okay. This gets a bit straight. Let's see here. There's just something where I feel like there's a disconnect where there's so much energy in those legs. But if you look at the upper body and ignore the arms, there's nothing going on in there, really. And it's maybe you could have something where she maybe is she's maybe more bent over. Still more bent. And then shah in this, that's when she would straighten into this. There's just something that feels disconnected in terms of that much swing. Nothing's going on here. She's kind of staying put. Her arms are kind of separate from, from the body. And then she just kind of drops. Let's see here. I do like that you have that boom impact. And then that chest takes that. But then watch out. It feels like that head hits something here. Boom. Or maybe it would be something where the head might drag a bit more. Drag a bit more. And then as the chest is done collapsing, then the head follows through and goes down. There's a bit more of a bigger separation. And then the question is, I mean, do you want to animate this? Is there some form of compression, down or rotation maybe in this? Is this a solid piece that's attached? This feels so hard to jump on. It's mainly that in terms of just the mechanics and the physics. You're asking here, you're not sure about the ending. I mean, I do like that she is not going straight up, that she stays there. It could also be something... You know, if you look at there's a certain attitude with that bounce, with this, and the playfulness of that, that maybe this is, maybe, you know, two twins with just that. Could it be something where... Mm, it's not that much room. I don't know, I'm just thinking that maybe she would end this with her arm, you know, a leg swing up, but I'm not sure if that was going to work since that leg's in front of her. It would swing back. I was just thinking, you know, is there anything where she would continue and then be in something like this? And, you know, maybe, I really don't know. It's to me talking about my butt here, but, you know, something where she's suddenly more like, hey, and like holding on to the side here or, you know, have arm out here. I know something where we can do something else with that, but I'm not sure right off the bat here what you could do. Because those, the legs are out. So unless you would do something where you jump, but then that's a different pose. That would lend itself to maybe maybe it's a front back split, right? The the leg is behind her. So then it can swing up during this. So that at the end it can come back up. And then maybe, you know, you you would have like, hey, hey, and you have more something like that. I don't know. There's something again where I feel like you have all of this, but then that is a separation. Just like in, in here. That's my only concern there. But um I'm going to ask you, like, what do you want to get out of that in terms of, like, the overall feel and presentation? I mean, it's just like a, what's the word? Like a body mechanics thing is to do on something else at the end where you can have this. And then after that, there could be another moment where she would get into a different pose. Do you have to have it end here? Um, you can tell me, too, what your parameters are and what you're willing to change or, how, you know, if you want to make your shot longer, all those things. All righty. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.